Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, we will discuss about system trigger in PLSQL Oracle. There are two types of system trigger available in Oracle. The first one is known as a schema trigger and the second one is the database trigger. Schema trigger is defined by the normal user and database trigger is defined by the DBA. Schema trigger work for the owner only and database trigger work for the every users available in the database. So in this video, I will show you the practical demonstration of the schema trigger. So let's do the same thing practically. So first of all, I should know that in which schema I am working. So my current user is that is a Scott. So you can write here that is a so user and you will get here that the current user is Scott. Now in the Scott schema, I want to create the table and I want to create one schema trigger that whenever user log into this, I want that action with the time. So what we can do here, we can create the table. So I'm just creating the table over here. That is a create table. And here you can write the name of the table. That is a log trig, for example, table. And here I want to define the three column. The first one is user ID. That is varchar2 and here you can define the size. For example, I'm writing here that is 15. Now I want the log date. So I'm writing here that is log date date and action that the user is logging on. So here you can write that is varchar2 and for example, 15. Now this is the simple table I want in the current schema that is in a Scott schema. So you can just copy this and you can paste over here in SQL and you will get the message table is created. Now I want to write the schema trigger. So you can just write over here that is create or replace trigger and you can give the name of your trigger. I'm just giving the name of my trigger is log on trig. Now when you want to fire this trigger so I want to fire this trigger whenever user log on to the schema. So I'm writing here that is after log on on schema begin and end. Whenever user log on to the Scott schema, the entry will be recorded in this table. And that is the reason why I have to write here that is insert into log trig table and values is that is which is the user. So you can write here user. So username will be recorded. And the second one is that is which date and time so that you can retrieve using sysdate. And action you can write over here that is logging on. So this is the very simple trigger. You can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the message trigger is created. Now what happened? Whenever you check the data, for example, if you check over here, that is a select star from log trig table. There are no records. Now, whenever user log on to Scott schema, the record will be recorded over here. For example, I have over here, that is another command prompt. So I'm writing here, that is a SQL plus, and I'm just logging to the schema that is a Scott with the password. Now, connected to this is Scott schema. So whenever user log on to this, now the record will be recorded over here in this log trig table. You can just check the Scott is logging on on 2nd October and the action is logging on. But the record will not be available over here for the schema if the schema is not Scott. For example, if user is connected over here with the HR, then HR is connected over here, but the entry will not be recorded over here. You can just check entry of HR is not available over here. Why? Because the owner of this schema trigger is a Scott only. So the record will be available in the Scott only. Now record of Scott will be entered again over here. If I am connecting over here into the Scott schema with the password, now you can check you will get the another record over here that the Scott is logging on. Now, suppose if you want the time also over here, then you can use the to care function and you can retrieve the time also. 
So this is the way you can write the system trigger that is schema trigger in Oracle. In next video, we will discuss about database trigger. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.